Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about Jenkins pipelines. As of now, we were using freestyle jobs for all our demonstrations in our previous videos, but today we are going to learn about a new a new job type. Let me write the name sample underscore pipeline. I'm going to select pipeline as a type. Uh, Jenkins pipelines or, or pipeline jobs uses Groovy language so we can code our own jobs in this language and it is very flexible, it is very useful to handle an entire application lifecycle so we can have several stages uh, let's say we, we have the, the checkout, we have the building, we have the, the testing, we have the deployment. All of those stages in one job, but controlled by, by this, this pipeline or, or by this code. So let me show you one, one sample about that. Okay, right now I'm on the configuration page for this pipeline job. And if I scroll down, I'm finding the pipeline section. Here we have two options. One is pipeline script, which allow me to to write the code itself in this in this section. And we also have the pipeline script from SCM. Which is, uh, which is a very useful way to, to get the Jenkins file from an external repository, let's say GitHub, Bitbucket, or any other repository that you are using for to store your code. You can set the credentials and get the, the Jenkins file from there. We, we will explore that option in future videos as well, because I think this is the most common way that that these these kind of things are being done in the in the industry on in the real world. So, but for now, I'm going to use pipeline script so we can start with a pipeline sample here. So Jenkins or the plugin offer me um, a sample here. It's a simple hello world, and this is the very basic uh, syntax for the pipeline job. As you can see, this is the first statement pipeline, and it is surrounded by the curly braces. Agent is very, very useful because we can specify to where uh, or in which machine, in which server this stage or this pipeline will run. Let's say we have a, a more complex environment or Jenkins environment with one main server, which is Linux. Uh, let's say we have two, two nodes that are Windows and another two nodes that are Linux. So if my pipeline is meant to be run on, on Linux, we can specify here to run on Linux instead of any or instead of Windows because if I have a Linux commands here and I put Windows here, obviously the, the pipeline will fail because it will not found it will not find this this Linux commands on Windows. So this is uh, useful because we can specify where this pipeline will run. At this moment, my environment just have the, the main server, so I'm going to specify any because I don't have any any label for another node, another agent. So any is fine in this case. Then we have the stages section, which is a wrapper for each stage inside of this pipeline. Then we have the stage hello. In this case, I'm going to change it to git checkout. And then I'm going to change the message to downloading code. I can run Linux commands here. Let's say this one's just an, an example. And I'm going to add another stage. 
just copy paste the code this stage will be called building here I'm going to build artifact I no longer need this SH section then next stage will be I don't know um, you need testing for my code testing one more okay okay this I miss this one okay after that uh, I'm going to upload the artifact if I have a, an artifact um, repository like JFrog or maybe you are uploading your artifacts to S3 you can do it in one stage here artifact then okay let's say I want a sonar cube analysis sonar cube Okay, and if all is fine till this point, we can deploy the app to death. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I've added several stages. Obviously, uh, each stage is just printing some words because at the moment I don't have any functional code. But in future videos, I'm going to start building each stage with, which will be um, useful for the next one. And then we will be able to deploy some application either in AWS or any other or maybe locally just to, to prove the, the concept. But this is the whole idea. And obviously, we will use the the remote uh, repository to get the Jenkins file okay I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it to see how these uh, pipelines are displayed because I also like how uh, how these stages are represented by the plugin look as each stage is very very quick one second less than a second so every every stage has completed immediately but uh, when we are doing a real building real um, creating uh, an artifact uh, the stages will take more time and we, we will see the the progress of, of each stage also the plugin offers me this this section in this case it says no changes but um, this is uh, able to to check all the commits from the most recent um, from the more recent push so uh, if if this version will have a uh, maybe three three commits those will be reflected here and it will display the description for each commit is very it's very good this plugin okay as you can see here are all the stages git uh, checkout building unit testing uploading the artifacts on our cube analysis deploy deploy the application to dev environment and this is the way that we can uh, use pipelines for developing or for deploying our application by doing ci cd and okay this is all for this video i hope you enjoy it please subscribe to the channel and uh, tell me if you have any doubt or any comment stay tuned thanks